Hello and welcome to our latest e-course on ABG and its interpretation. So this is an introductory video. So coming first to the question, what is an acid? The traditional teaching tells us that acid is something which is sour in taste or it is a something which turns a blue litmus paper red. Arrhenius in 1887 defined acid as any substance which dissolves in water and gives up H plus ions. It was slightly modified by Bronsted and Laurie in 1923 who said that acid is something who donates a H plus ion to another molecule. Gilbert Lewis again modified it and said that Acid is something which receives a pair of electrons. There are various shortcomings to each of these theories. They do not encompass all the known acids in this definition. So, Yusanovsky gave an unifying concept of what is an acid. So, he includes basically all the three concepts. That is, acid is something which reacts with a base, accepts anions and electrons, and furnishes cations. So, which approach is used in medicine? Bronsted Lodi is the most used concept in medical science. In clinical practice, it explains most of the reactions in the body without any problems. So, we focus primarily on the H plus ion which is being donated, and this is the definition of acid that we use in medical practice. Now coming to how to measure the hydrogen ion activity. It is important to quantify this hydrogen activity so that we can use it in a clinical way. Bare protons do not exist in solution. They exist in combination with water molecules. So the concept of hydrogen ion is a hypothetical proton. It doesn't exist in reality. Now coming to how to measure the activity of this hypothetical hydrogen ion. So to measure the activity of any substance in a solution, it is the concentration of the substance in the solution multiplied by the activity coefficient. This will give us the activity of this substance in the solution. So to calculate the activity of the hydrogen ion by the reaction act Across an electrode, a term was used by Sorensen which was pH. Now what exactly is the origin of the P is still debated. We don't know clearly what this P exactly means but it has stayed in practice so we use the term pH. Now how do we define a pH? pH is the negative logarithm to the base 10 of the hydrogen ion activity in a solution. Now coming to the question which should be used in clinical practice, a pH or hydrogen ion concentration. The pH has certain advantages. It is a traditional symbol and has been widely used. People understand it better. Free hydrogen ion is not something which is actually present. It is a hypothetical concept. The disadvantages of pH is that it doesn't represent a linear relationship. A pH of 7.3 to 7.2 is much better less severe than from 7.2 to 7.1. Though the value may appear a point when decrease, the overall hydrogen ion difference will be much much more when there is a point 0.1 decrease. It is not an easy concept to learn and disguises the magnitude of the change in hydrogen ion concentration. And this table is actually a very simple way of converting pH into the hydrogen ion concentration. But for all practical purposes throughout this presentations, we will be focusing only on the pH, less on the hydrogen ion concentration because pH is something which is more traditional and which is more properly understood by most of the clinicians. Thank you for your patience and we'll be coming up with more modules in this e-course.